Pisces, welcome to Illuminated Tarot. My name is Jenna. Today I'm here to do your reading for June. We're going to take a look at your overall general energy for the month ahead, what you may not see coming, and get some important advice from Spirit. Let's jump right in. Thank you for tuning in, Pisces, as always. It's a pleasure to be here to read for you. Thank you for all the love and the support. All right. And let's take a moment to thank Spirit for presiding over this reading today for you all. Thank you, Spirit, for your guidance. Hmm. All right. Let's see what the Spirit Animal guidance is for the month ahead. I've been switching up nearly every reading, y'all. There's been... I feel like everyone's going through a lot of change. Uh, breaking away from karmic cycles, you know all the good, bad, and the ugly, and the indifferent, um, whatever we need to strip away and leave behind in the way of people, places, and things, this is the month to do it, all right? There's a lot of new, fresh energy coming into the collective, and if you want to capitalize on that, we got to create space, right? So I'm getting a lot of, a lot of endings, new beginnings, realizations, epiphanies going on so far for June for everyone. So let's see what's coming up for you, all right? Pisces, Tapman, the Pisces Collective, New Beginnings, Scorpion, mm-hmm, it's feeling good, it's feeling like you're ready for this, like I broke, I broke the cycles, yeah, we're gonna leave it there, mm, yay, I'm feeling, I'm feeling good about y'all Pisces, you guys are gonna be carrying the collective through their own it just feels like your energy is a lot lighter than some that I've read for so far for June. You're invited to instigate change, but you're also being warned that this transformation may be radical. Get rid of everything in your current life that can pre prevent you from improving. So this is feeling more personal. So if if you're like, you know what, I got to stop eating junk food or, you know, I need to do a little bit of detox or I need to get more sleep Maybe I need to start exercising or upping my game and my fitness routine. I feel like you're trying to focus more on improving yourself, even in your spiritual practices, because I'm seeing a spiritual up, uptick around your spiritual activities. So you may be deciding to make some changes too around bringing more peace into your life through prayer, meditation, taking different classes, even getting involved with other people to help with your ascension process. So um, based on this principle, destroy before rebuilding, you are promised a beneficial rebirth. I feel like I feel like you all are in a little bit more of the the oh my god, you know, I'm I'm in something that I need to really remove myself from or I want more peace in my life. The intent for everyone at any time, any human on earth, is to be okay and to feel good and to know that they're on the right path. And sometimes we play with energies that allow us to return to that again and again and again. And other times we're right there and we don't need those energies to remind us. So I feel like you're in that latter category where you're like, I don't really need those energies to remind me of my path because I'm on my path and uh, ain't nothing going to take me from my path. I'm getting that. Hawk, fly above and beyond your day-to-day -day thoughts to observe them from a bird's eye view, quieting the mind and detaching from your thought patterns put you in a better position to take in messages from your spirit guides. You have this gorgeous intention, Pisces, to approach your life from a place of clarity and your own inner truth when it comes to seeking more peace, more harmony, more enlightenment. Mm. I'm getting a very, very, very uplifting, positive, energetic frequency off the Pisces Collective at this time, and I'm very grateful for it right now. It's been hard for a lot of other signs, um, and I just I feel like you're going to be different. I just feel it in my bones right now. Let's hope I'm right. Let's see what the tarot brings. What does the tarot bring for you? Oh, clarity. Clarity about how much you've had to change. What have you had to abandon in uh, throughout this year in order to stay on your path of truth? There's something around truth going on for the collective and... The thought patterns, the people, the situations that we need to leave behind. Hmm. Also regarding our own greatness. 
whatever belief, limiting belief is in the way of that, Pisces, you're taking a, you're examining it. Yeah. This is the time for you to be confident on your path. I think you've learned a lot, Pisces. And it's not that other zodiac signs lack that. You're just showing me you're a little bit further along the path. I don't know why I'm getting that. A little bit further along the path. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. And you're you're telling me, yeah, because look at this, the devil in reverse. You're like, I, I am putting a stomp literal stomp on any toxic patterns. And that's what this year is calling to us as a collective, as a universal unity consciousness. Whatever is not congruent with the soul in any frequency that you surround yourself with, you're like, I can spot a toxic individual or a toxic frequency from miles away. Wow. Yeah, because you're on the path of your own karmic justice. You know the truth. You're sticking by it. There's something that you that's coming back into balance within you now as a result of you ending. And some of this is trauma, generational trauma. I'm seeing the Pisces Collective really took on a lot in your family constellations, in your soul family. And those are the people we learn the most from, but that can cause us the greatest harm but then our greatest good is served because of what we remember and what we realize as a result of the experience of it. You're taking those lessons and look at you. Oh, Pisces, I am loving this energy right now. We have the nine of pentacles and this is proof. Proof is in the pudding, Jenna. I know how to stand in my own frequency and be a beacon of light and provide all these beautiful things for myself. I don't need anybody for that. That is the truth. I just got goosebumps. The challenge. Hmm. Something hidden here that's still... Or you may just be feeling this deep, deep appreciation for what you had to... What you cut out of your life and how good you feel now as a result. Could be just that. And now... Oh, what is... You're dropping some sort of burden. All right. The Ten of Wands. This could be also spirit indicating you've worked very hard in so far this year. Um, you may be that, that devil on your back of trying to produce a lot in your work life and not taking enough time to rest. It's like you've had this goal. I need, I want this. I'm going after it. I know what it's going to require of me. I'm going to put in the hours. I'm dedicated. It's like you've been dedicated to whatever it is, but spirit is calling on you that you need to have a little bit more work-life balance because I think that um, you've been pushing and pushing and pushing and pushing and pushing. All right. Yeah, and it's time to rest and take a break. Take a vacation, Pisces. Yeah, take a vacation someplace um, where, you, where you feel really grounded. You need to go and um, be in an energy frequency now where you're surrounded by beautiful things, you know, a beautiful landscape. Spirit is calling on you to turn your back on anything emotionally that you know you need to leave behind. You're healing something, and it's after having gone through something very toxic. I mean, the devil in reverse is maybe a very manipulative energy. It could have been someone in your work environment who was undermining your ability to feel stable day to day. Let's look at this. I felt this high, high frequency, and I think that's your intention. I think you're mostly there, but you might have some last vestiges. And this is too, like when I actually coming into this reading, I read a post about be mindful of the energies you interact with. I mean, there are certain people you can't help but have to interact with them at work. But the people you choose to spend time with, right, and exchange energy with, Pay attention to how it makes you feel after you've interacted with them. You want to feel lighter, more uplifted, more open, more expansive, more supported. I think you've had at least one to a few people who were the opposite of that energy. And you, I, I do feel that you have worked hard at removing yourself from those situations. Yeah, you're after... You only want to give to things now that you are assured in the frequency of exchange 
an equal return. This is like the return of an, on investment. You're like, I'm after it. I'm after what is fulfilling for me, what is what is what belongs to me, what is my divine birthright, which is it's like, you know, when we learn our worth and value through being around toxic energies, we will no longer do it again. And they might come back, right? Just to say, see if you were if you if it's true. Because sometimes, you know, I've told who did I tell this to? Libra, where it's hard enough to erect a boundary, even harder to keep to continue to reinforce it. So that's the work, right? Yeah. You're walking towards slowly towards all your wishes here, all your dreams. You know it. That's why I felt this, I felt this really, this magnetism coming off you around this faith and this positivity. This is the starlight of hope. You're carrying it deep inside of your soul right now. You know that the seeds that you're planting now, or you're in a, a, a time of harvest where you've really been growing and learning and expanding. I love this energy. I really do, Pisces. I'm not going to lie. This feels so much lighter than a lot of the, the people I've been reading for. And um, no, not throwing shade on anyone else in the collective. Uh, it's just nice to see um, some of the zodiac signs a little further along, not going through so much suffering. And um, let's see. Doesn't mean that you're without hardship. You're just knowing how to what, what is it? Make lemonade out of lemons, right? Something along that line. Sorry if I just totally butchered that. Two Ten of Wands, though. What do we have here? Oh, I think that there's a little bit of fear you're carrying around opening up to any new energies. Because you're like, I've, you know, this is that whole, I'm good on my own. Uh, I've learned a lot from toxic behaviors. And I just, there's a little uncertainty coming off you around new investments, new people. You might, you might have been taking some time to recuperate. I'm also getting this, you know, keep, keep fighting the good fight to hold on to your dreams. You do have a new opportunity to invest in coming in. For those of you, if you're single and you've, you've ended a toxic cycle and you've broken free, and now you've really achieved a lot of internal balance, it's at fear of the unknown. I don't think you see this, but you can feel it that there's something coming in for you that's going to make you really happy, really happy. For those of you wanting to really nurture a long-term commitment, you got it coming. You got it coming. Wow. I think that's why I was like, woohoo, this is like, or a lot of you, I, I just get this sense that it's been really hard for you to open up to love. But you're getting, you're getting closer to that time for a lot of you. I'm speaking to the singles out there watching this. You, you're now getting to that point in time where... You've done so much work on looking at your emotional baggage and your patterning. And you've done, I've, I'm looking at people who've done a lot of therapy, who've maybe healed from narcissists and in their family line or in their relationship history. And you're, you grow, you're just, you're, what can I say? <laughs> you're solid. You're solid because now you know you've got the scales of justice on your side. You know when something is off and when it feels wrong for you. You're not going to make any excuses for that kind of energy in your life anymore. I'm getting that. Yeah. And when it comes to this devil in reverse energy, you're coming out of a, of a heavier period of time in your life. If you felt like things weren't going for you, you weren't getting the opportunities, you weren't getting the love offers, you felt left out, It's you're now realizing, okay, um, I've got to maintain hope and faith and stay positive on my path. I believe in myself. I believe in my ability to manifest new opportunities. It's almost too, like you're going through this really beautiful rebirth after going through a really hard time. Some of you may have had to get divorced or you lost your job and you've been working on going back to school. Money's been tight. I just feel like whatever you, whatever's been the hardship in your life could even be with health or being a caretaker to other people. I mean, two ten of wands is your path has been hard. All right, but that hard part served your growth, and now these seeds that you planted of knowing, all right, my happiness is still out there, 
and I'm going to capture it and I'm going to believe in it and I'm going to let it rise within me. This is almost like if you've had a lot of fears around your ability to create the life that you want, it's almost like we get in our own way oftentimes because we look at the reality of what is instead of what could be and you're no longer doing that. You're saying, well, I, if I focus on that, then I'm going to get what I had before. You know, yeah, life is hard, but I don't have to make it harder. I don't have to look at my life as a burden or anything going on in my life as a burden. I'm free. You're showing me a very strong spiritual core that is activating something deep within you right now to just keep going. Don't give up. Even though it gets hard on our path, it's the experience of it, right? And the nourishing of self through it. Almost like a lot of you have conquered personal addiction or um, repeating toxic patterns with people. There's something that you've conquered. And out of that redemption, there's been some sort of like rebirth going on, Pisces. And it feels so good because you're empowered now. Wow. Okay. What is the opportunity here for the month of June? Justice. Everything coming back into balance. You feeling better. It's like you realign to a higher timeline. And you, you know now that's where I want to be. And if I dip back down, I'm going to correct myself and come back up. Your, your intention is to maintain a high frequency. I feel it. And you now have the goods, right? You know what you need to do to stay there. And that comes down to really holding firm boundaries in self, hold, holding yourself accountable, and also firm boundaries around any toxicity around you. Double justice. You're just backing it up here. You're like, yeah. Jenna, I know. Yep. Mm hmm. You want fairness when it comes to when it comes to anything you're drawn to. You've got you've got something coming in. I'm gonna be honest with you. You got something coming in, but you're like, is this what I was trying to manifest, Jenna? Is it? You've got an intense person coming towards you, and they have a the similar a similar intent that you do because I, we have double justice here. They want fairness. I think you're coming together with somebody, Pisces. Um, someone new, it could be a business partner. It's someone that really activates you, inspires you, um, gets you, get your mojo going. It doesn't mean it's sexual. It just means they, they, there's some, some sort of exchange going on that feels really good. But there's also some really important decisions that are being made this month around this energy and what's fair. I'm not sure why I'm getting that. You might, you, I think you have a new opportunity to invest in something really deep here. Very deep. The challenge is, is what you're going to do. What you're going to do here. You've been on a healing journey and you're really in a stable place. You've got your back turned to anything you know isn't going to be congruent with your high timeline here. Getting that. It's so good. You have a lot of emotional and financial independence now. At least that's what you're headed toward. Slowly but surely, those seeds have been planted. Don't, don't, don't let any negative thinking get in the way. This is also negative thinking. Trust your path. You've got a lot of protection around you, Pisces, for what you're trying to create out there in the world. A lot of you have a lot of choices to make when it comes to your own expression. Interesting. A lot of this is about your own personal power. Using it wisely. Yeah, there's something. Yeah, you're going. I, th I know now why. You, you're still, you're in the final stages of a very beautiful transformation, glow up, where you're still really reserving your energy and not really fully ready to open. I think you're really being cautious about what you allow in, into your inner domain your inner world and we're talking about the people places and things that are the closest to us you're ready to i think allow someone to yeah we got a, a perfect pair now this is at the bottom you just want balance you want things to be fair right i'm getting that gosh i got a very itchy nose you got someone really thinking about you pisces someone who has a very strong 
um, attraction to your energy. King and queen of wands. It's a powerful pull, a magnetic pull. It doesn't have to be sexual. It just is someone on your path that you feel divinely guided toward. I feel like they're new for you because it's an opportunity to invest in this, but I think it's hard for you to open up for whatever reason and to believe in creating harmony between you and another person because you've been through a lot of a lot of changes. I think you're someone who your recent past really... Um, it's like you want to, you're protecting your energy. You know, you're, what, where you are now, it's something sacred to you. And you're not going to just give it away to anybody. So I see that you want to move forward. You want to go after something. But there's a lot of hidden elements still. This is like, if you have someone new in your life, you're still sussing them out. You're still feeling them out. Um, him or her, feeling them out. Um, to determine if, if this is what you actually were trying to call in. You know, you're still maintaining a beautiful level of independence, which I love seeing no matter who you're bringing in that's new, you know, new um, partnerships around work, new coworkers, yeah, you know, new friends, new, whatever it is, it's like, it's exciting you. But there's a decision that has to be made around this about whether you're really going to open up to it. Because you're like, I'm not so sure yet. I need more information, Jenna. <laughs> you know, you're evaluating somebody who's coming towards you. This is going to tell me a lot here in the future position, this Nine of Pentacles. This, this is you, independently owned and operated. That's too many, Spirit. Why is the Nine of Pentacles here for your future? Okay. Six of Cups. The Hermit. Yeah, I think that you have, I feel like you have someone new um, kind of hanging out energetically around you. You feel them. Some of you haven't met this person yet. But it's, it's something that will bring in a lot of balance into your life when you choose to be open, when you choose to let it in. Because a lot of you, the issue at hand is that you're still getting over something from the past. Uh, you're still working through the pain of the past, past memories, and you're still in a time period where you're healing from that and you're honoring self. It's like you, I'm seeing this beautiful intention where you're planting seeds they were planted a long time ago in your frequency around what you really want for yourself to make you happy, all right? Some of you have had to let go of old friends. Um, Whatever is your recent past, it's still lingering in your energetic field, and it's, it's something you're still trying to get over. I mean, this screams to me, I'm on, for a lot of you, if this has to do with love, you're trying to maintain your own independence, you're single, you are, you know, you're not quite ready to date, you know, but you do have someone in mind. You, you know how you want to feel with someone and you're still going through the final stages of this rebirth and this transformation where you have, um, more sound judgment. You're, you're, you're better, better able to see what's good for you and what isn't now. It's like your approach is so more intentional now when it comes to love or any new friends in your life. You know what you don't want. And oftentimes we have to know what we don't want and experience that to really get more clear on what we do want and what we want to attract. So you might be feeling a little bit of combination of hope around what's around the corner and also nostalgia over what you're still trying to heal this month. But maintain this, this beautiful independence that I'm seeing, coming back into a gorgeous state of balance and self. You're doing this. You're doing it the right way. I, I, I see you taking your time through this. It's not like you're rushing. I think a part of you is like, I want to be done. Like, can I just be over this and start over and, and enjoy the new, right? You know when you're ready. You know, um, I was talking to my a friend about this the other night, about how do you know when you're really ready to date or let anyone new in? And she said, when the old cycle is not coming back anymore and there, there is no exchange of energy anymore and you don't want an exchange of energy anymore and you're over the past person completely. And when you think of them, there's forgiveness there, not bitterness, hurt, resentment, anger. You're trying to clear out a past person the right way, Pisces, a lot of you. And if this isn't a love situation, this is you really trying to create new opportunities and and getting out of a negative mindset and coming back into balance and making those healthy choices for yourself that allow for this beautiful transformation to take hold 
where you're reserving your energy so you can have that bold, you know, ambition moving forward. Some of you are really working hard to overcome any limitations that set you up for hardship early on in life. You know, the Six of Cups is that feeling of, why did I have to go through so much? You know, a lot of you have created so much on your own, but that was what you signed up for. And a lot of people don't want to hear that, but sometimes we, we set up those conditions to, to just to give us that perfect, you know, recipe, right, for our own transformation and our own alchemization from pain into power. And I'm seeing that so clearly, Pisces, for you all. It's beautiful. All right, so let's get into what you don't see coming here. I think that you are, you're so grounded. I, I don't even think, I think there's this disconnect kind of coming into this month. Even watching this reading, you're gonna be like, yeah, you know, I've really, I'm so much better than I was. And I'm gonna have episodes, right? I call them like little, um, what did my friend tell me too? It was a temporary setback. You might have a temporary setback where you realize you still have a little bit, another layer to go of releasing the pain of the past, whatever it was that childhood trauma, um, a relationship trauma. You might have had a very toxic parent. Um, it's just you've overcome a lot, Pisces. And you've, I feel like I'm talking to self-made women and self-made men here. And it's a beautiful journey you've been on. And you need to keep trusting yourself and trusting your path. Okay? Whatever you got to turn your back to to create more stability in your life, you're doing it. Make sure you take time out to rest this month. All right? It's been difficult. Yeah. You got to stay true to what the seeds you've planted. I think that anything that's going to stress you out, that's what I mean. The maintenance of boundaries is real. And this is also holding yourself accountable. For those of you, it's, this is about turning your back on any thoughts or behaviors that undermine your ability to harvest what is yours, right? There's stress around too, around is it going to come together for me? Whatever it is you're waiting on, it, you're heading right towards the Queen of Pentacles energy. So this is a feeling of greater abundance, greater ease with life, financial security, You've, you've been, I think, and also we're going from the 10 to the 9. So things are going to get easier moving forward. But you got to let go of little by little of the emotions that you've been feeling and the stress of it all. Trust. I keep, they keep saying trust in your path, Pisces. You know exactly how to handle what is coming towards you now with grace and with positivity. I'm just getting that. Let's get some advice from Spirit. So much amazing growth and amazing grace too that you're showing me through it all yeah whoops ah what happened here i'm like what are the cards it's blank interesting that wasn't that was uh it's like you you yeah you didn't want to see that maybe you were leaving something all along you might have held on tightly to something and i don't think you realize one day you woke up and you're like wow i've already kind of left this energetically you know or or you're moving away from something energetically that had a grip on you for quite some time. You, st you seek stability now. Anything that's, that you're going to have to juggle in your life that undermines your power in this world. And a lot of that comes down to what you think and how you view yourself. Mm. All right. What is the advice from spirit? What is the advice from spirit? Yeah, this Ten of Wands is so real. It has come out, y'all, three times. Drop the burden of the past. You are, you are sh like a snake shedding its skin. Remove that cloak. You don't need it anymore. Drop it. Whatever you got to drop, you're dropping it, all right? Mm. Especially people who were deceptive around you, who you couldn't trust been hard for you to hold things up you're showing me this journey yeah a lot of you this is the oh i feel you pisces and a lot of you i understand <laughs> once you deal with the toxic energy especially when it comes to matters of romance it is very hard for you to trust again and i think you're working through the trust issues internally because it's like when we deal with coming out of maybe any kind of narcissistic patterning when I'm seeing this devil in reverse is someone who was really not healthy. You lose faith in your trust in self even because you're like, ah, I let that in. 
and I accepted it. And now you're like, now you understand what it feels like to have those negative energies around you that tug at you energetically. And you just need, you need to keep trusting yourself and also trusting that you have this Knight of Cups is showing up. What? I thought there was another Knight of Cups, but maybe I was wrong. It was in the, uh, the pre-shuffle. You have got love coming in. And in order for you to open up to it, you need to release the pain of the past, heal it fully, maintain your independence emotionally, and try not to bring trust issues in. You're going to know it by the way it makes you feel. There's a lot of fear around opening up to love again, Pisces, that I'm seeing in some of you. Or a, 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 a hardship of trusting anyone to really have them come in and open. It's like, someone betrayed my trust, Jenna. And um, now I'm not so trusting. And um, I get it. I get it. I think that forgive yourself mostly is, is the hardest part, right? Um, it's hard to forgive other people too, granted. But don't beat yourself up for allowing any energies in that you tolerated for a long time. You did. But this is your rebirth, sweetheart. And you need to recognize now how much you've changed, how much you've grown, and how much you can handle energies like this in the future. So you're not doing it again. You're not repeating it. You've learned what you needed to learn here about your own independence and your own stability. Okay? I did, they will not stop talking about trust yourself, trust yourself, trust yourself. That's what you needed to learn, and that's what you have now. So just remind yourself of that it, when you start opening up again to other energies. All right. What is the gateway of light activation? Gateway of light activation for Pisces. Okay. What have we got here? Ooh. Chamber of the Violet Flame. Karmic release. Radical transformation. I just got a ringing in my ear. This is huge. Wow. Okay. Now that is intense. What is this one about? This deck is intense, y'all. It is. It's like I can't, I can't read from this very often. All right. When you receive this card, know that the violet flame of transformation has been brought to you by your angels and guides. They are encouraging you to see that you're in a space of radical transformation. Transformation can be overwhelming, but know the hand of the divine is leading the way. All past trauma is now being cleared from your energy. Stay focused on releasing all of the energies that are no longer serving you. The violet flame is here to transmute fear into love. If any fear is rising up inside you now, know that it is simply a call for love. Call in the strongest form of love you know and allow those in your inner circle to support you through this transformational time. You are an alchemist. I was talking about this. With the capacity to take all the leaden aspects of your life, all that ten of wands, and turn them into golden opportunities. You can align your life with the divine plan now and live in a more purposeful way. Pisces, 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 Pisces. I knew it. I felt it. It's like, this is like redemption. This is your comeback. This is your breakthrough. This is your new beginning. Trust your path, Pisces. Gosh, I love y'all. Take care.